It's recording. Uh, did we do this? Yes. Uh, so the main idea is you try to break this down into something times something else and keep breaking it down until you can't anymore. And then write down, okay, two. There's only a single two here. So I just write down a single two. There are two threes, so I can write it as three squared. But the square and the square root cancel out, so I can bring the three on the outside. And I'm just left with two and 17. So that's how you reduce. We're going to practice that with whiteboards tomorrow. So we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll practice it with whiteboards. Uh, that's that. Hopefully we remember the Pythagorean theorem. It only works with right triangles. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are the legs, and they touch the right angle. So the furthest one away, that one's always C. It's always the largest side. Um, so we went over that. We did an example. Is this true? Did we get to this? Pretty sure we did. Yeah. We, so this and this and this. We had just 6 and 4 and x we are trying to solve. All you're doing is choosing A and B, because they're the ones that touch the right angle, um, and then plug them into A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we square root both sides, and we got um, 2 rad 13, or 2 square root of 13. I would accept both, but I, I, we're going to practice this tomorrow, just so you know how to reduce them without a calculator. Um, one thing that we also looked at was when the side lengths aren't just numbers or variables. It's a x minus 1. It's an expression. But we can still consider this b. This one's c, because it's the hypotenuse. And then 5, and then we wrote this down. And I'll review that, this part. I'll review that when we get to the homework assignment. I'll do one of the problems, or two of the problems. Uh, and then, did we talk about Pythagorean triples? No? Yeah, we did. That was the last one. All this means is when you do, like for a triangle, if it's a right triangle, then it'll be a Pythagorean triple if you don't have any side lengths that are fractions or decimals. So all whole numbers. If you get a fraction or decimal, then it's not a Pythagorean triple. That's all that, that means. Last, oh, okay, so the next part is the new stuff. And it's pretty simple. Uh, so we will see. What do we have? Where's my pins? So I'm going to call this uh, Pythagorean notes part two. That way it's just into two separate notes. And that's the date today, 1, 15, 20. Pythagorean notes part two. Uh, we have two theorems on this and then an example. I mostly want to just let you guys work on the assignment. Uh, so the notes will be rather quick, and then I'll let you work on the assignment, and you can ask questions, and I can do some of the problems here. So Pythagorean theorem. Oh, just, we looked at the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, we're going to look at the triangle, triangle inequality theorem. And this is very simple once you understand it. The tri triangle inequality theorem says that for any triangle, if you pick two of the sides and add them together, it has to be greater than the other side, greater than the last side. So I'll say it, and then I'll show you something uh, on my computer. The sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. A 
Otherwise, you won't be able to make a triangle. So that's what I'm going to write. Otherwise, you won't be able to make a triangle. And then I'm going to show you real quick. 